Okay, let's imagine that uh, we're gonna kick a ball and the velocity at which this ball is going to leave the ground is gonna be 35 meters per second. Let's also state that the angle between the vector velocity and the horizontal is gonna be, let's say, 40 degrees. To make this a very simple problem, um, what we're going to look for right now is the horizontal component of the velocity. So let's call that Vx. X represents the horizontal component. So in order to find that out, we need to use one of the uh, trigonometric functions. Uh, you can remember that we have two basic ones. One is sine, the other one is cosine. Let's erase this to make some room. the sign of the angle who I forgot to write in here the angle is gonna be equals to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse and the cosine of the angle is gonna be equals to the adjacent side of the triangle divided by the hypotenuse so the first thing that we need to do here is to build our triangle. So we have, let's make this our triangle. This um, reference in here is built to this, according to this angle. And if we are looking for the x component of the velocity, that means that we are looking for this. So in reference to this angle, the one we're looking for is the adjacent. Adjacent means next to. If we were looking for the opposite, that will mean the y component of the velocity. So that will be vy. But in this case, this is what we're looking for, vx. So going back to this uh, function, oh, excuse me, to this function because we're looking for the adjacent, remember? So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is cosine of the angle it's going to be equals to the adjacent, let's name that Vx to be more fancy, divided by the hypotenuse. In this case, the hypotenuse is given is the velocity that they give us at the beginning. So let's start substituting terms. Cosine of 40 degrees is going to be equals to Vx, that's what we're looking for, divided by our hypotenuse, in this case, 35. So all that we have to do is multiply these two terms. They are across, so we need to multiply in order to find Vx. So our Vx is going to be equals to cosine of 40. Let me do that in my calculator here really quick. Cosine of 40 is 0.76 multiplied by 35 and that is going to be equals to 26.8 so when we kick a ball it could be a football and the angle between the velocity vector and the horizontal is 40 degrees and the initial velocity is 35 meters per second the horizontal component of this velocity is going to be 26 meters per second this is just to find the horizontal component of a velocity vector.